Now, just finally, on hospital funding, most Labor states refused to sign on to the government's funding proposal today. Can I ask, how is COAG supposed to work when time after time we see states more or less vote along party lines? Oh, I don't think uh, you did see that today at all. Um, I think each state, you know, has to weigh up what is in the best interest. And I always want to get a fair share for Queensland. And I'm not going to accept anything less. Now, if I had signed up today, I would have been, uh, you know, I would have been not taking Queensland's interest into account and we would have potentially lost out in $4 billion worth of future funding. So it's really important that I get that back pay of around $170 million, which is owed to us. This is the Commonwealth owing the state. I want that money paid first before I sign up to the agreement. Now, I've been assured by Commonwealth officials and by the Prime Minister that there is going to be further information provided to us by next week. I don't know why they couldn't hold off until next week if that's when the independent umpire is giving more information. So, you know, I think it was a bit cheeky of, of, of the federal government as well wanting to push ahead with this when they, they're not really putting all the facts clearly on the table. Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk, great to speak to you this afternoon. Thank you.